45. It's Friday. You know what that means. This is the last one of your real time couplet workout. So, are you doing it all together like I just have? You should go straight back to Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, smash them out. I know it was horrible yesterday if you did it yesterday with me. I know it was. Spider surfer burpees are just horrible, but you did it and you're here, which means today you get abs. Ta da! 40 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. Our cardio today is this. You're going to stand with your. I'm going to just move my mat so you can see me. You're going to stand with your plank position. Either if you want to go on your hands, you can, or you can go down onto your elbows. Straight body line, pull those abs in as tight as you can, and you're going to jump out and in. That's your cardio. 40 seconds of that, you're going to know about it. That's what you're starting with. I'm going to start with the first exercise. It's all core today. So we're going to burn, burn, burn that core for 40 seconds. Bang, 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 right the way through. Are you ready? Enough talking. Let's get Friday smashed. Have you just done all four videos or are you just joining me for the first time today? If you're just joining me for the first time today, you don't know. We've done four videos. This is part of a whole real-time workout. If you're just starting with us, welcome. Give this a go. Maybe add it to the end of one of your workouts. If this is not your thing, there's loads of other workouts you can pick. We've got Pilates, we've got yoga, we've got beginners, challenges, we've got men involved. If you want to work out with a dude, Sean is right on the website. You just got to go and find him. It's all there and it's all free. So, keeping my vest on, keeping the intensity of my vest. That's it. Enough talking. You're done. Get in your plank position. Ready? Five. Four, three, two, last one. You're gonna do tuck abs, a V ab. One tuck ab, one V ab. So I've got extra weight, which means already I'm putting extra intensity on my arms. I'm already, I'm trying not to swing. Don't swing, don't swing, I don't wanna see it. If you don't have an equalizer, you're gonna do tuck abs on the floor. All the way, 20 seconds. Now from the rest of the week, because we've been using our full body, your abs are going to feel tired. That's okay. You just pull them in, grit your teeth, see it through. 10 seconds. Uh, uh, I love this one. Burns my abs so much. Uh, four, three, two, last one. Got it? Figured it out? Let me see it. I'm going to count you down. Four, three, two, pull them in. Let's go. So your abs are engaged. Oh, you pull your abs in. Already they're fatigued from what we've just done. But that's okay, we've got this. 30 seconds already, that's all. What can you do in 30 seconds? Maybe put a trainer on, try and find the other sock. You could do that. Oh, 20 seconds to go, what can you do in 20 seconds? Kick your workout, kick your abs into touch. 15 seconds to go, push. Don't you quit, get your legs up, tuck them abs in. Friday, seven, you going out tonight? You want nice abs? Pull them in, four, three, two, last one. Make sure when you come up, your head's the last thing to come up. Don't when you're feeling dizzy, <sighs> overhead abs. So grab yourself some weight. This is your next exercise, get onto your plank. So you're gonna come up, take it up. Here's the harder version, feet off the floor. One push, take it down. Feet off the floor, one push. Take it down. Your abs have to be engaged. See, it's not my legs lifting me up. It's not my arms lifting me up. And this weight, I can definitely tell you, is not helping my body at all. It's not interested in getting me up to a C-sit. It's all about your abs. It's all about your core. If you can't do this, drop the weight. Put your feet on the floor. You're just going to come up as far as you can. Take it all the way down. Awesome job. Overhead abs. Ready? Steady? Go. Let's go. Jump in and out. See how my abs are pulled in. I've even got a little squeeze on my bum. Just because what that does is it just brings in them lower abs a little bit. Oh, makes it a little bit more intense. You've got 25 seconds. Come on, get up. Try and get them feet off the floor if you can. Pull the abs up. Try and lift that weight right above your head. I know your abs are burning. So are mine. But that's why we do it. We're doing it together. It's Friday. Woohoo! Ten seconds. Come on. We're ending on a high. Five seconds. Four, three, two. Last 
one. We start again. Ready? You're jumping. I'm tucking. Out of breath. Mainly because I can't stop talking. But a little bit because my abs are on fire. Come on, push. 30 seconds. You got this. Yes, you have. Don't you stop. You jump. You pull those abs in. Now, what I want you to do is squeeze your bum a little bit for me. Squeeze it just a little bit. A little bit more. Oh. Ah. You've got to make sure you don't swing. You've got to make sure it's your abs that do the work. Oh, they're burning now. Oh. Ten seconds. You know that's a little sickly burning. Oh. Five, four, three, two. Got it. Oh. You think when it starts, you're like, what? It's a bit easy. It looks a bit easy. Oh, get going then. Let me see how easy it is. Show me. Come on. With a weighted vest. And if you're elevating and not rocking, that's not easy. Use your abs to lift your legs. All abs. That's what we're all about. 20 seconds. Here we go. You got a straight body line. You got to tuck it in. 15 seconds. See what happens when I don't talk? It goes a little bit quiet, a little bit boring. Five seconds, come on, push. Four, three, two, last one. Sit back. Okay, here we go. Ready to jump? Let me see your jumps. I'm gonna go for it, feet off. Here we go, up, one press. Take it down, up, one press. Take it down, this one's such a killer. If you try and keep your arms, Right by your head, honestly, lower body, upper ab death. You're basically holding a seasick position. Your abs are lifting. My abs right now are lifting 16 pounds all the way off the floor. 14 seconds, keep jumping. Come on, it's your last jump. Don't you stop until that beep goes. You know the rules. You know how it rolls. Two. Last one. Right, listen to me. This is your last exercise. It's Friday. Go hard. Get some weight involved this time. Give it a go. See if you can do it. There we go. My abs are burning, but that's why it works. You've got to keep your ass low. 30 seconds, push. Come on. You know what's coming up after this? 40 seconds of magic. That's what's coming up after this. When you feel tired, Feel like you haven't got any more to give? That's when the magic happens. That's when changes happen. Oh, come on, 13 seconds. Don't quit. Get lifting. Even if you've got to hold the plank, just do it. Four, three, two, last one. You know what you need to do now? Finish up in style. Grab your weights or high knees or whatever you're going to do. And let's smash this bad boy into touch. Let's do it. It's Friday. You've got 30 seconds left of your workout before you've accomplished the whole thing. And that is an achievement. Mixing it up this week, completely different, but the same. All free. 15 seconds. Lift your knees. Let's go. Lift with the core, land softly. Eight, seven, five, four, come on, two. Friday, abs, done. Did you do it all together? Did you do the whole workout like me? What's yours say? Mine says 958 calories. How many classes are you gonna go to? How many gyms are you gonna go to? And you're gonna get that in an hour. And happening. I want to know what you burned. Show me your body rock burn. Let me know what you did. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if couplet is your thing. I know some of you out there love this style of training. Love it, love it, love it, because you haven't got to think all the time. It's just two exercises on the bounce, back to back. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me. Thank you for being my partner this week again. And I'll see you next week. Have a good weekend. Let me know what you did. Bye.